Hello, Helen. How are you? How the devil are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. I'll just do some nice colouring today. Neck. Hello, good afternoon, Helen. Afternoon, Liz. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Emma. Hi, Linda. Hope you're feeling okay, Emma. Hi, Linda. I'm good. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Sally. Hello, Marjorie. Yeah, I'm researching, researching. I've got a real uh, passion on at the moment. So let's see, where am I at today? I'm already on a six, I think, because I'm actually studying and i love studying it's just if i could afford another degree i'd get another degree but i can't afford it it's very expensive so i'm just looking through some of my drawings that i've done and um there's some little pieces here that they wouldn't get picked the stamps and stuff but the idea behind him is still really beautiful. Oh, excuse me, little burp escaped. Little burp escaped. Sorry about that. How very rude of me. Um. All right, that's good. Oh, so hello. Hello, Glynis. Hi, Sonia. Oh, I'm always here. That's, that's good, When That's really good. I might do mine. Hello, Malcolm. How the devil are you? Well, I might do mine. Um, O-U-I. O-U-I. O-U. Because that's a really good idea. Well, just let me tell you what I've been doing, right? Because I've got this journal, and I really like this journal. And it's a secure one. And the paper's pretty good in it. Hi, Janet. Hi, Jane. Hi, Glynis. Wide awake. Wide awake. Um, always in my heart. <laughs> oh, I don't even know when I wrote that. But I've got all sorts in it, and I really like it. I've still got things to do. And I don't want to just leave it. As you can tell, I do lots of research and then I've got pages that um, and, and I'm going to use these because I think it's a waste. Um, I'm studying bookbinding at the moment. But, you know, I'm also into um, jewellery making. I'm into um, chain mail. I'm into crochet. I'm into macrame or macrame. I'm into... Uh, all sorts, but I'm really in love with book binding. I have been for many, many years now, and I've always made my own books at uni and everything. And I, I just get upset that I've left these pages, but I don't want to. So I'm, I've come to this conclusion that this is a book of two halves. And what I mean by that is I'm treating one half to draw on. Because everything's sort of fat on this side. Oh, don't start going funny. Come on, I need a word. Give me a word. Because. Hooray! Bec oh, well, I shouldn't show you them, should I? But nice, aren't they? Wait till you see this one. I'm not saying anymore. I'm not saying anymore. Just keep it there. 
Right, so what I've done is I've decided now that I love my colours and these are like pages that I don't use. So I'm like, I'm not wasting them. So it's a book of two halves. So this one is Colour Harmony. This is just some of the pans that I've got. But then I thought I do my notes in it. So I'm starting to write. And I thought, that that's what I'm going to do. So on this side, it's going to have my artwork. And on that side, boobies. Boobies. Who's boobies? Ah, I get you now. get you. <laughs> Hi, Tamara. How are you, my love? How is Mr. Glass? Is he okay? Hi, Louise. So, yeah, I've been doing it all morning. I've... I'm studying a Spanish um, bookmaker at money and it's really interesting um, and um, a Bulgarian one called Stopan Ois works amazing and I thought right I'm going to do all my research on this side pictures there research pictures so yeah I've had a really good morning researching so bibliophile <laughs> oh, the terrible one! It's, it's like man flu, isn't it? Man flu, a whiny gimp. I love that. What a way to say it! I thought we could do something based on one of my faves. Good old, good old Mister Klimt. So, again, it's this format of lines. And they sort of follow and again, it's something that we started the other day. Uh, we didn't do it here because we did it coming down. You can do it going down, but you know, these lines that we started with here again, this sort of tumbling line but I'm very much looking at good old Gustav Klimt because then I can get my gold silver right I don't like that now believe it or not since I've been journaling I've discovered what I like and don't like about lines I don't like I'm a bit of a messy. No, no, I wouldn't say well, whatever you want to call it, but I work fast. Who mm. rattled your cage? I work fast, so I don't always get everything in. Um. Oh, I hope you're all right, Kim. I don't know whether I want to know that. Whether you're in bed or not, behave yourself, woman. What are you doing? I hope you're okay. Um, hello, Val. Oh, it's like a, uh, all our mates in here, isn't it? Hello, everybody. So, I don't like dodgy lines. Now, what does that mean? Because my mind, the lines are dodgy. But it's like the movement's too quick. It's not smooth enough. And that's because it's rattle through stuff. So, take your time. See that? I don't like that there. So what I, do, I need to do... You really see I don't like that. See, what I'm thinking... Sometimes I turn my book round and then see it from a different perspective. You see how oh, these are nice, aren't they? This is dodgy. But maybe that's the centre one that makes everything go out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this and recreate these really nice lines that were successful.
it was brilliant, you know, because I'm not going to name names because it's not fair, but um, the Spanish lady who I'm researching, her work is amazing. I just can't sit there and just mindlessly. I'm not saying there's out wrong with mindlessly watching TV because I think that's really important to do, but if I'm inspired to learn, I just think learning, and that's what I carried on my education in, um, Pedodice, and uh, it was really interesting because it does, it's an art, the art of learning or the love of learning. And it's really important that you recognise that it's an art, you know, there's a way of learning that is right for you. And when you find it, oh, the world stops for nothing. You know what I mean? And, and you can just carry on. And it's like suddenly the world's opened up to you. So it's very much a case of finding what, how you like to learn. And I found mine, I think. And Oh, I have to stop. Alexa, play traditional Chinese music. Playing traditional Chinese music on Amazon Music. Right, I had to stop. Yesterday, I got muted. Oh, I did, I got muted. I got muted by some a logarithm or whatever the hell they're called. Where did we get all this crap through the door at all? Do you know, I've got half a tree on, on me all floor right so yeah a logarithm found that and said 20 seconds of your video has been penetrated quite pardon what does that mean 20 seconds of your video has been penetrated whatever it is it sounds bloody painful doesn't it so i was like oh what's happened here anyway i had a look and i think there was a, a bit of enya in it and it closed me down Oh, sod it. So I, I put it out mute. I think it's probably my best video ever. Right, I'm going over in black line. Now, what I'm revealing to you today. Oh, I see, I like that. Was a, a drawing I did a few months ago. Well, a few months, a few years ago. A few months. Um. And it was based on Klimt. And I was thinking about having it as a um, perhaps for a, a range of stamps. Anyway, it didn't work out, but I still really love the artist for one. And I love the simplicity of it. So, oh, I don't like that bit there. So I thought, rather than mess about, come on, share it with my mates and let's see what you think. So I've got some wavy lines here. And when I go back to what I was waffling on about before, is I've got a love of lines now, but lines a certain way. So... Lines now like that really please me, okay? But I'll show you what doesn't please me. That one, that one doesn't please me at all. Because it's not in context, it's not right with others. So if I sat here and started going like that, that doesn't please me at all. But taking time. And I think it's always the same, isn't it, at the beginning? It's better at the beginning. Oh, for those of you that are, oh, look at all that rubbish. I'm on a six today, I'm on a six. Hello, Kath. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Dawn. Hey, the gang's all in. We're the boys to entertain you. Welcome. B, O, B, O, Y, S, boys to entertain you. Lando. Do you remember that? I'm not going into it anymore. Right, okay, so Gustav Klimt was well renowned for gold. Do you know this isn't fast, Elizabeth? But yeah, I do, I do. And can you see how that don't please me there? But I work on it. Um, but it's all to do with like 
employment, you know, you've got 50 minutes to get kids in, get them sat down. And by kids, it's a generic term, which is not right. I used to, I never called them kids to the faces. I always said, guys, you're know, like peeps and stuff like that. Um, and if I got them well with us, I called them a chicken. Sounds daft, I know, but, um, so, yeah, I used to have to do all that in 50 minutes. Um, so you learn to be fast and you cut out things that are important. And, uh, what's, I've got, I've got paint on me. Don't tell Mark, I've got paint on me camera. Um, so working fast has, has become natural, which is wrong because I need to calm it down a bit. So one of my favourite artists that I looked at was Gustav Klimt. And he did lines and sections and he did all these wonderful patterns. So today it's going to be really simple, but it'll be a beautiful chance for us to do some blending, some colour, you know, colour shading, but also, more importantly, time for ourselves, but also um, great artistic achievement because you'd be amazed at just the section of these, what it changes and does in a frame. Now, so the first one has got sections. The third, the second one has got sections again, but bigger. So I'm changing the sections. Um, I don't want them to look too much like brickwork. And I'm really conscious of that. Um, here I'm just changing the actual makeup of it. If you want to work like that, that's fine. So you can put in... If you can look at Monique's... Um, work it is amazing because she uses diagonal lines a little bit um and they're just off piste and they look beautiful but it has to be deliberate it has to be really deliberate because you, to do it it's really difficult to do right but you have to do it and when you do it right oh it's amazing so yeah i've copied this one again so we'll put in A repetition of familiarity so we've got familiarity or whatever and then How did we survive without drawing? How do we survive without books? Just reading a piece, a paper from the artist I'm looking at, and although e-books are amazing in the sense that accessible, cheap, that we can't lose this wonderful. Um, feeling of a book, the smell, the feel, you stroke a book, you put all your words into it, you put all your love in it, it's a living thing because it's part of you, an inanimate living object, it sounds like an oxymoron isn't it that, an inanimate living object but it's just, it becomes part of you, you release more into this book than you would anywhere else. And it's just really strange to think that you put more into this than you would tell anybody else. I just find it really wonderful. But I never want to lose the fact that there's wonderful people out there making books. We can't lose that. Oh, goodness, no. No way. So, yes, it's great for the great for the community and great for the environment. But, you know, that's important. We don't lose that feel. Hi Julia. 
I listen to an iBox permanently, Linda, but that doesn't stop me. You know, I feel very treasured to have my books. They're like, like I say, the pieces of me. They're in, incredibly personal and important. Now, I'm going to fit in some squares, and I'm going to make the squares fit the space rather than try to make them square. Because he wasn't too... He didn't really worry about it too much. And he used squares, he used diamonds, um, triangles, eyes. So I'm just going to go throughout this, placing the shapes. Now, there's something really important about taking influence from people. And that's the important bit, to take influence from him and to use what they use, but in your way. So you could have somebody's work and you love the colour and you love the pattern. And that's fantastic. But then you have to find your own colour that you love and your own pattern and not just rely on their pattern. And then um, once you get that into your head, it's like, get it. So here we've got some really simple designs. I already love this. I'm already on an eight. Oh, I had a really good chat yesterday. Not heard from her for ages because she's busy. But the lovely Barbara had a beer, lovely chat with her yesterday. We were talking about artwork. And now she studies pottery and stuff and, oh, it's great to talk about pottery and what it means and raku and all the different terminology. We had a right old chin wag, it was brilliant. So here we've got these lovely patterns happening now. Hello, Sue. So you can see it's quite simple, beautiful. There's not much to it, is there? And although you can get the feel of Klimt, it's not directly just him. There's my influence in it as well. Um, it's funny, isn't it? Look, look at his today's. Look how hectic that is. Not that there's out wrong with that. There's something really satisfying about seeing how the mood you were in. It's great, isn't it, looking back? See, I love these, because these just, it's like an outpouring of colours mean something, don't they? I did this on a live. It needs some work on it. And it was, you know, um, Lou Collins, she did like these fantastic new texture stamps. So I'm going down on 21st as well, and this needs work, you know. But I don't, I want to leave it. I want, to, I don't want to, anyway. So, yeah, I just love the idea of looking at how you've. So here I've just put in some that match up, I'll do some more here, no I don't because there's too much there, I'll do it here. This looks quite steampunky as well, doesn't it? And if you don't want that look, then stay away from it. Do, you know, do another one. So 
see how you make the patterns start, but by the end of it, you've created your own patterns based on, you know, those wonderful patterns that have been your influence, but now they're no longer your primary influence. I love this. I do love, 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 love. I love this. Oh, hello, Jane. This one isn't so... Exactly. This one isn't so mind-bending, is it? So, so nice to do. Simple patterns. Make them as intricate as you want. All based on climped. You could do whatever you want. They don't have to be based on climped. If you prefer to do your own artist, look at Kandinsky or... Uh, Miro or Hundavasa, very much like this. Um, so I've done my pattern in, which I'm really happy with. It's got simplicity to it that I really like. Um, I'm going to use some a big fat pen now. And by that, I don't mean just because it's fat I'm using it. I'm just using like dots so to rather than sit there dotting away for nine hours with a little pen you just get a big fat pen don't even dot around for hours i'm just waiting to see if i can bloody find one oh every pen i find is an art not no wouldn't you have it wouldn't you have it wouldn't you have them and eve it right oh come on where's that box is there I've just cardinal sin. Oh, withers. I left all my pens, uh, paintbrushes in the water. Oh, do you know what? That's terrible. That's really bad. You should never do that. Right, come on. Where's those pens gone? What have you just had in? Under this mass of rubbish. Ah, uh, uh, got it. Right, okay. Got him. I've got the cushion. Pens. Right, I'm going to put some depth in. So, I'm going to get a big one. And again, like I said, the reason, oh there it is, the reason I'm getting a big one is so that I don't have to spend hours dotting. And in the original drawing, um, I'll show you the original drawing. Can you see? So the original drawing, that it's got dots in it. So that's what we're going to do. So I've got my number 12. And oh! Hi Denise, hello! Right, stop shouting, that camera is very sensitive. So I'm looking at my work now and I'm looking for a corner that... Just like that. See it? Okay, so I'm looking for... So the nearer you go there, and the further away, do the odd one, and then you don't have to do them all over because that'll ruin it. Well, it won't ruin it at all, but it it ruins the effect, should we say, of doing it every now and again. Look, like that. Yes, yes, yes.
And the closer you dots, pointillism. The closer you dots, the more emphasis and the darker. Now I'm hoping that that's not created too much shadow for you. It's weird, isn't it, how suddenly it went <clears throat> dark. Like black pearl illuminations in here. Oh, what's up with my lamp? Come on. What's up with that? No. What's up? Oh, it's stupid. Like, why's my light not working? Why's my light not working? What's up with my light? My daylight. It's not plugged in. It's not plugged in, is it? Right. So, it might strobe a bit. If it does, I apologise. I'm hoping that I can bring you a bit closer now. Uh, clearer. So I'm putting the dots and I'm doing them randomly but your brain takes over and likes to put random in order. So even though it's random I've got to look for some sort of family of way it goes direction. Not family of way it goes. Direction. And then there's a little trick to this. I've seen people doing this pointillism. I'm seeing it on stamps a lot now as well. And I've always drawn like this, but the, look, there's a trick to it. And I'll teach you the trick. Well, I shouldn't really be telling anybody my tricks, but it's not to leave it like that. And I've seen a lot of people just leaving the stuff like that. And it's a shame because it, it doesn't work. To do this right, you've got really got to work at it and and do it. And I'll show you what I mean. It's it's a bit like when you're hair cutting. You, you can't just do a number four and a number one unless you want a real sort of wedge. You've got to do gradual. So and I'm seeing that some people don't get that and they've done the portalism but they've done it in a way that it just looks like dots on the work rather than shading. Although some people do it really well as well. Right, okay, so I've got my dots on. Hi Helen. So then you go back to your small one. And... You fill in. And just that little bit of filling in makes a huge difference. And use them strategically, little places here, and you'll see a huge difference. Because the weight of the pen really helps to blend it out. And even if you don't want a lot, just a few of these little dots makes a huge difference on their own. So now we've got this here. Don't be tempted to da -da 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 -da, because if you do that, you'll drag your pen. So it's up and down all the time. Because I've been tempted to go like that. And you see how it drags? It don't work. I'm loving this. Just a little bit of an emphasis around some of the circles. Hope you can see that. I love this. I think I'm hoping that you're enjoying it. How do you like the pattern so far? Roots. I 
I'm putting a few dots round these mounds here. But not with the fat pen, with the thin pen. Okay, what do you reckon? Oh, brilliant. Glad you like it, Sue. Glad you like it, Wendy. Thank you, Linda. It's a nice pattern, that, isn't it? So you can do as much or as little as you want on this. Um, Getting the metallics out. My bestest ones in the world. I'm waking them up, giving them a bit of a squirt. Oh, sexy, sexy, sexy. Now I'm going to be using certain colours to do with Clint. So even though I've wet, ev oh, button. even though I've wet everything, I won't be using them all. I just I've got them there ready. Right, so I've got a selection of brushes. So I can create water, washes, point work, you name it. But I'm just going to look for certain areas that I'm going to apply different colours. Now the first one is a gold. And I'm just going to, throughout the colour, just put a dab of gold on any of the little mound things like that so there's some sort of right now you might not see that i hope you can yeah now i'm going to use another color that's similar so if you've got a range of colors you can go down the next and I'm just going to put in a little bit of orange so I'm looking Just giving them a wash if it's a bit big. Oh, that should be a uh, thingy, shouldn't it? Should be that one. Don't forget that you can always put your colour there and wash it in. So the next one I'm going to look for is maybe a bronze. And I'm just using the bronze. as a wash get me now what I've tended to do here is I've not put the the colour on a pattern put a I've put it on a plain part. I absolutely love this. I'm going to make a print of it, I think. So here again. Very light. I'm not going to use all pearl colours. Be too much that. So I'm looking at this, there's a lot going on in it, so it'll have to be here. It'll have to be here. Now, I got these paints for my birthday in February. And I adore them. So thank you to everybody who donated for them. 
and put two you made my year so now i'm going to look at the colors and i want some depth of color so i'm just going to leave the, the metallic for a while because i don't want to just create bling thank you does it does it look you loving it not the same but try, i'm trying what do you mean don't matter i bet yours is better than mine um does it Malcolm? Thank you. I really appreciate people telling me what they think because um, it's really important because I, I, you know in the classes, the big classes that I do with people, I, I can do that to them and it's it makes a huge difference being able to sort of give a you know proper cre critique. Not a, not a I think that's crap job, I mean it's a, it's a proper, uh, I like that because well, what about trying that? It makes a huge difference. So I'm just using Payne's Grey. Instead of wiping my cardigan each time, I'm just going to use a piece of kitchen towel and stop dipping it in my can. Right, so... Oh, I've left it now, haven't I? What will happen? What will happen? Oh! Ooh! That's really good. I'm really happy with that. See the shading? So I've got a little bit here. I want to introduce you to neutrals anyway and colours. So because we stay we stay a bit frightened of it neutrals we don't like beiges and yet oh, i've just dipped my arm in every color thank you helen pretty isn't it and i, I do like that and not just pretty i like that Right, I hope this makes sense and doesn't sound big-headed. And you know I'm not like that anyway. But but I think in these classes like this, when I do stuff, you can really see the teacher part in me. And I get, get great pleasure out of that. Because I know a lot of people can draw. A lot of people can do with it, all the stuff I do. But I think sometimes the, the teaching is sort of evident in some of my of my sort of doodles and moodles and poodles whereas it's not always that way with everyone sort of thing so yeah right okay i can't get any any eye in the name now i'm feeling great so i've got that now really happy with the Cardies. I've got a cardi on. I know, but it's like it's stiff now. That one side. I've got a stiff side. Do you know where I keep flicking paint on it? It's no good, calf. It's no good at all. So I'm loving these colours. I'm going to stick with these. And I'm going to stick now. This is one of my favourites, and it's like a rust. And I think this will bring this alive. This is a Sennelier colour as well. And it's stunning. Now, just going to... Oh, I love it. Oh, it's sexy, that. Sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, I'm loving it. Something very beautiful about listening to this mute. Oh, you bum. Right, get, get your head on now with us. Get all these. Right, get yourself sorted. That's not good, that. Just mucked it up. So here we've got the orange again and I faded the oranges out but don't forget you can always add more it's taking it away that's a little bit tricky 
it's not a little bit tricky, it's very tricky. Now what I'm going to do instead, because we've got a little bit here, instead of running it all the way down, do the, oh, come here. It's like a running commentary, you don't know what's going on, I'm having, it's like a, a zoo here. Throwing my stuff around and cushions everywhere. Can you see how I've just concentrated on an area which I really like? So I'm going to go now with maybe a blue. Because I think a blue or a... Um, I see I want a soup. I've got to go with... Let's try one, see what it looks like. See, not there, maybe. Here, because this is... Right, this is um, a sepia. So it gives a little bit of depth and it looks like it's covering your dots but it's not. Well it is and it's not. I think it was Judith yesterday, no it was Joe, it was Joe, who asked me about gua, gouache, gouache, whatever you want to call it. Even got the guy, you know when they say like your dictionary and it's got a person saying it, I was like it was like a rap song, just squash, 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 honestly. Anyway, I was going into gouache, um, like properly to, to answer your question. And the way I can sort of bring it down to how I understand it is, it's like opaque watercolour. It's hard to get watercolour opaque because the, the nature of the, 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 the stuff isn't meant to be. I am loving this. Do you like it? Come on, come on. You want to watch every day? Thank you. You learn something every day, Dawn. Thank you. I do. I do every day. So you won't watch it either. I, well, I, I greatly appreciate that. That means a lot because it means it's it's worth it, doesn't it? If you're going to take time to watch it, then I'll obviously it's I'm taking time to make it. That's a win-win. Thank you very much. Right, even when I'm down, I don't mind you knowing. So here I've got the browns now. I'm going to offset it a little bit with blue blue and it's i've got to go for it it's got to be done it's the law it's the law and it's gotta be prussian blue how did you know how long have i been doing blue and brown how long now everybody's doing it Remember where you saw it first. But isn't that lovely that? Prussian blue. I might have a bit much on there, but let's see if we can wash it out a bit more. Where's me? Where's, there it is. Wait for a minute. Oh yeah, that's better, isn't it? Until I want more. Because I might not want it that thick yet. Yet. Now, what I might do. What I'm doing, if you can't see, is I've got three little... S I'm taking the water off and blending them out. Now, these might be better with watercolour pencils, if you're unsure about using it like this. So... If your tubes are watercolour or your pans or anything, um, you know, like dry out, don't throw them away because that's what that is. That's a tube there, a tube that that was uh, dried. And I was throwing them all away and I thought, what am I doing? That's what watercolours do. So by the time I got out to the bin, the bin men had been. It's my own fault. But, yeah, because they're just returning to a cake. That's what they are. Here, I'm going to put it around where the orange is in that little bit of a thing. 
I love that. See it? You become an orange and blue, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Orange and blue convert. It's got to be done. And a lot of it is to do, once you know the colours, you think, right, that's a complimentary of that. It might be that you've never tried it before, but now suddenly because you've got more confidence with colour, you think I'm having a go, and then before you know it, you're like, wow, where did that come from? It's so powerful. So here I've just got a little corner in a little space. Don't forget the little spaces because those little spaces will add real impact to some of the others. Um, so don't forget them. So here I've got, why am I shouting? Here I've got the blue faded out again. I do need to pick out an area though because it needs to balance up here. So maybe this one here. If I just do the edge of it like that. Oh, I forgot it's got squares as well. Never mind. Oh, it's got a lot of squares down here. I might change the blue actually to... Excuse me, that was my tummy. So we've got this. And where you put your colour has an impact. Like that. I think we need a blue here. In this little block. a little bit of no one well, because I've got a few of them so now I'm looking at another colour and I think right what colour do I need here um, I'm going to try a beige and if it doesn't look right I'll change it see if it doesn't I've got a little bit of colour here Yeah, that's it. I don't want it too heavy because it's supposed to be light. And I've got, because I mixed it yesterday. Putting a little bit of beige there. So even though it looks like there's nothing there, there is a slight change of colour. Which it's quite hard to see on camera, but it is here. You know is it. Got a bit of a bleed there, but it doesn't matter because it's the same colour. And now I'm gonna just put in some again, some neutrals using the colours that I made just today. And they, they, a lot of these are just off-white. But when you put them against the other colours we've made, and the blues and stuff, they make it a, a real statement and a difference. Then when you've done, you can sort of go around and think, right, well, okay, I need a bit of that colour there. And that's when you can go and start fixing things. Not that anything's broke, but you know, just add in bits where you want. So I'm really happy with that. Really happy. What I'm going to do is maybe just I 
I love the orange that much, but I think it's it needs a little bit more power. So in areas where I've used the orange, I'm going to put a little bit more in. Now I can see. Right, okay, so I put the orange in. It's pretty dense at the moment. But what I'm going to do is just allow it to blend out. And then if it's already in, it'll blend to whatever's underneath. But I'm not going to right out to the line. I'm going to the line near it. So the original watercolour line finishes here and I've just finished there. So I'm just working inside it now. Oh, it's a lovely colour, this. Right, so, I'm happy with this. I've got the colours I want. I'm going to shift that out a little bit more. I'm going to go in with the flash. Oh! So I'm going to go back to my colours now, and I'm going to go in with golds so now, I think. I really need to sort of... I'm not using that brush for a start. Use this one. It's not a great one, but why am I not using my new? I've just bought a shed load of small ones, and I've not used them yet. Where are they? Do we do we do? Oh, do we 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 do Tiny, tiny, weeny, weeny. Now I can get some detail. So looking at Klimt, what he did, again, it's important that we learn from these wonderful people, these wonderful creators and artists, but make, you know, make it your own. You can't just, people do it though, they tend to think that they can just put their uh, name to someone and think no one will know. And you can't. Got to be. Make it your own. So here I'm just going around with gold just to emphasise certain areas. And this has got to be probably one of my favourites. I'm so calm with it, it's so nice for me. If you've got your pens, these are perfect for your pens. If you want to know where I got these brushes from, they're all on the sheet on my Facebook page. So here I'm just going to go back in now with a copper, bronze colour and just got to be careful now because it's at this point you can sort of go just past that point and I'll return with your colours so just be careful with it um, but that's a personal choice that's nothing to do with you should or you shouldn't
totally personal choice. I used to buy, I used to see these brushes and think, why would anyone want to use that brush? It's too small for anything. And you know, over two there. It's funny how things change, isn't it? Right, well, I'm looking at that now. I'm going to give it a minute. Um, I was going to outline, outline it, but I really don't think I need to. I'm really into the, new, yes, Helen, I am. that's fantastic glad to hear that there's nothing nicer than being told that you know someone it's accessible for someone so just to go through what i did i've been inspired by look at that one o'clock and we've done this i'm inspired by gustav klimt um the shapes the patterns but i've made it my own something from an old print hello melissa so i'm just going to flick it through um and you can just see when it's dry you'll see the iridescence of it but then you can go through with a mapping pen or a gold fountain pen or anything like that and just put a tiny bit more detail in it you know if you wanted to sort of i don't want to do it if it's too wet but if you want to do that that's fine as well but I'm just a little bit conscious of doing that too much and I don't want it to be take over. But sometimes little black dots or little definition of dots do work. But just be warned, the perils of outlining everything. So, yeah, go back in with your pen. But just be a tad mindful about how you treat what you're doing because there's a very fine line and sometimes when you're using metallics the metallics go over the colour of the pen and it sometimes it, you, you lose the, the the outline a little bit and just putting that outline back in I'm not going to do it on them there a bit too much. There we go. So, I'm in love with this. I'm really happy with it really really happy with this i think what have i got out of it focus and simple ideas have created a simple neutral but what's mm, the word I'm looking for? It's not powerful. Thoughtful. Thought provoking. Um piece of work calmness and tranquility make themselves known through this oh 
love that i'm loving that i've got my writing on it it's not prominent it all feeds on part of it you could just put here if you wanted to words I mean the words don't take much power from it and um, just be mindful and it's your work so yeah I'm really happy with this I think this is I think taking from this is I put here so the words are simple neutral calm pleasing flowing Creative, symbolic, meaningful, elements, and your fading. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I often do, used to do that all the time. We used to do a mind map and we'd sit down and we'd do right. What does he? What does this? What does this bring to me? Um, oh, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, this is a stunning one to do. It's very useful to do. It is the power of the positive, it is, it truly is. Sometimes I need to come in here and be positive and I think that that's I think that's a bit open to you now. You you all know how what you see is what you get, but you know, I need to come in here to do this and you need perhaps the same. So there's nothing embarrassing about that and there's nothing bad about it. You know, if you can go from, you know, two, three, four, five and then move up to a, a nine and a ten, you know, just through doing a piece of work you know it's better than taking another two of my tablets or whatever do you know what i mean it's the pain as subdued because i'm sat comfortably and i'm relaxed half the time when your anxiety and levels are up you, you tense your body and that gives you pain so anyway i'm really glad that you've enjoyed that oh francois hello i hope you enjoy this um yeah um I think I'll do another one like this tomorrow, but a different shape. But I do like the idea of working with an artist. Perhaps you could think of one. All right. Ah, oh, right, Emma. Well, if we get some time later, is that all right? We can have a quick chat. Great stuff. Brilliant, Linda. Well done love it love the idea now this is the cheeky bit if you do like what you see i'm very grateful to everybody kandinsky yeah i love kandinsky um under as well um in fact this is what I was writing this morning there we go um miro madrian kandinsky under vassar gustav klimt and these were all my influences. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I love that. That's me. Um, maybe it's, t now's the time for the stamps. You know what I mean? It wasn't when I drew them. Maybe it is now. But yeah, thank you everybody for your time and your effort. And I love this. And uh, yeah, powerful and grateful. So, I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Um, if you'd like to donate anything and buy me a coffee, if you go to my link tree, it's on there, um, you'll find that there's all um, the places you can find me and a donate button. I'm not asking you for money. It's just for people who say if they'd like to buy me a coffee for the time or whatever. That's what it's about. But thank you so much for everything, about being here and the support. And I hope you do get something out of this. Well, I hope you get 
as much as I get out of it. Truly and honestly. No crap, no bull. I do. I feel very, very honoured to be able to do this. And, um, yeah, thank you very much. And I will see you tomorrow. Oh, I must say thank you to everybody that does donate. I do appreciate it, but I don't like bringing it up too much. Because you know what happened. Anyway, thank you for your time. Take care, everyone. See you tomorrow.